Hello guys, this is Spider Rock, and today I wanted to talk about somewhat of an issue. An issue with stealing content, stealing add-ons in this uh, community. Today I'm basically going to be talking about some add-ons and some websites that steal add-ons and some YouTube creators that have kind of sold out to these websites stealing add-ons and it gets pretty like weird and bizarre and interesting and kind of morally ambiguous. So before we get into this, I would like you guys to share this with anybody that is interested in Minecraft or in add-ons just to keep them safe and to make sure that the content that a lot of these creators, the add-ons and the maps that they make are safe as well. I'd also like to mention, please do not harass any individuals in this video. I'm trying to censor some of their names, but for the most part, it's just generally not okay to harass anyone. I'm trying to call people out here, but I'm not looking for any form of targeted harassment towards anyone. So please just be nice. Anyway, I recently got a DM from someone on Discord saying they own a Minecraft add-on website of some sort uh, and would want to sponsor me. And I was intrigued. I looked into the website and I, at first I just assumed it was going to be something like MCPEDL. Now if you don't know what MCPEDL is, it's pretty much my go-to site for looking for Minecraft Bedrock content. They've got a really good review system, they've got most of the content on here is somewhat decent. I usually go to the add-ons tab and you can see uh, this is the content here. This is where I upload stuff. If you want to upload something here, you pretty much have to have made that something or have ha like have permission to upload it here. I post my stuff on here, you can submit stuff on here. This is a good website. If you want add-ons, go to mcpedl.com. Not mcpedl.xyz, not anything else. mcpedl.com, it should look like this. This is pretty much the uh, the standard place, the best place um, to look for Minecraft Bedrock like content. So I assumed it would be another website like this. But the website that I ended up on was this, mcdlspot.com. This website looked a little bit questionable. Some of these things, they're like stretched funny, there's stuff here. And a lot of these things are posted by MCDL spot admin. So if I go to say mods and then add-ons, this is when it gets kind of weird because these all have the same picture. So let's say I want a uh, mob armor add-on. I click on this, there's nothing here, there's no download, there's nothing. So I was like, hmm. Then I look over here and I see uh, like, ooh, look at this, it's a... Uh, some stuff by Frybry, some stuff by Riverine. These are people who are decently well known. We've got this one here. Uh, let's see, let's look through some more of these. Let's see, we have this one for some no lag shaders. And as you can see, this is basically kind of like a blog post of a YouTube video. So I was like, hmm, maybe if I'm just making like a top five video, they'll be willing to pay me some money in order to, to post kind of my links here instead of like in the description, like have a, it go to here and then it would have this. But then I started looking more into this website and I found some things, for example, this uh, add-on here that I've seen elsewhere and I can confirm that this was not made by MCDL Spot or anything. I'm pretty sure this was made by someone else and I think it might even say like who it's by somewhere around here. But this is posted on here like it was made by that person and then you can see that the downloads will actually take you to the download pages um, by the original person who made the add-on. So it's kind of strange. But I decided to look into Frybry and River Rain because I was kind of curious, kind of interested. I was looking through here, see if I could find anything about any of these add-ons or anything. I found a video here about this world edit add-on, basically. And then if you go to the download, it doesn't actually take you to the website I was just on because I'm pretty sure this person sponsors Frybry. Um, I have their the person's name censored. Anyway, this takes you to MCDL Pit. MCDL Pit, also known as MCDL.co, also known as pretty much just a reskin of the website we were just on, takes you to this website and it's pretty much identical to the one we were just on. I think they post the same thing on both both websites. It's pretty much the same thing. What's new Vatnage mod pack? Wait, hold on a second. This isn't Vatnage. I can confirm, great add-on creator, Vatnage did not post this on here. So I was asking on Vatnage's Discord server, or iEmotion's Discord server, and people were talking about it. We pretty much figured out that for $300 a month, they sponsor creators, and the creators shout out these uh, websites, or shout out, like, post links to here. So if someone were to showcase the Vatnage mod pack, they would post a link to here, which is literally just a repost from somewhere else. So I decided to ask a few more questions. 
So I decided to look up and see if my insanity was on here. So if you see, I look up my insanity, I hit enter and voila, would you look at that? Now I did not post my insanity to this website. It was posted to this website um, by, I guess, a bot. And so that's why it's kind of interesting. I asked uh, why my insanity was on here basically. It literally leaves all the original links. It has my byline up here. It literally says it was by me and it'll take you to me on MCPEDL, I believe. But this is posted on here without my permission and people are thinking that this post was made by me and this is probably an outdated version so people are complaining about crashes and things that probably aren't there anymore or maybe there after 1.18. Um, but I don't really want my stuff on websites like this and it's kind of annoying to have it posted on here. So basically it turns out that they have a spider that crawls websites. So apparently the, their spider, which is just a bot, a program that basically scans other websites and copies their content onto this website. So this wasn't even put up on this website by that person. This was put up on this website by a bot that they made. And that bot scans this website that existed before the other two websites that they cloned, basically. So those two websites are a clone of this website, which then uploads other people's content to it but then leaves links to the original content. So if I go here, this is a website owned by the YouTuber Super Shiftery. Yet again, once again, please do not send any hate or anything towards any of these creators. What they're doing isn't great, but it's not terrible. And the only people who are really in the wrong, I think, are the people sending the bots out to scan things. Anyway, you can find my insanity on here. It has 18,000 views, seven comments. I'm guessing this was posted here at some point. I think this was actually posted literally on here, like, when it was posted on MCPEDL. So it's it's pretty annoying to have my stuff posted on websites like this, but I don't know. I wouldn't trust this. If you're gonna get any of my content, make sure you get it either from my video or from MCPEDL. Luckily, if you hit here on this page and then you hit by Spider Rock, it should take you to my MCPEDL page. Oh no, it takes you to my, my video. So you can see here um, some of my content here uh, where I showcase stuff. Now, basically what the person wanted me to do was say if I was showcasing the modular bosses add-on, I would either use their link or make a page on their website instead of just linking straight here to the MCPEDL page. I don't wanna do that, not at least without the permission from the creator of the add-on. That's just not okay. If I showcase someone's add-on, I'm gonna give credit to their add-on where they wanna have credit be given to. That didn't, that sentence sounded weird, but you can see here, this is the actual add-on page on MCPEDL. Now, if you do want to know another good place to get add-ons, I'd recommend the Vatnidge website by iEmotionless. This is a, a good website. There's only like approved add-ons on here. Some of my add-ons on, are on here. I need to post more of them on here, honestly, but everything on here is going to be good. Um, so there's confirmation for that. Everything on here is also going to be legitimately uploaded to here. So I asked a little bit more and they basically said that all I would need to do would be to review downloads posted on their site and then put links in the description. So it would go through their site to here. And that's the equivalent of like someone posting something, like posting a YouTube video, like showcasing an add-on instead of going to MCPEDL, it goes to Linkvertise and then to MCPEDL. So you're basically capitalizing off of someone else's stuff. Now I, my videos, yes, they're, they're monetized. I make money off of them. And I make money off of the things other people have made technically, but I provide full credit to them and I provide access to their page. And if you actually want to use or download their content, you get it straight from them, not from anyone else. You can literally look it up anywhere. You can get it from there. And the content I provide is the showcase. It's not the add-on. If you want the add-on, you get it from them because they made it. They have the rights to that. They should get credit for that. So back to these YouTubers like FryPry. I don't blame them. They're not really doing anything wrong. And I doubt they looked into um, the website, into the NCDL spot uh, as much as as I would, because I'm just trying to be cautious about these things or, or MCDL pit or whatever. I want to see this here. So it says here, it says though that this is by FryBry, when in actuality, I'm doubting that this is not, I'm doubting this by FryBry. See, look, it's not credits and download. So you hit download and I'm assuming this will take me to yeah, this will take me to the, uh, the MC or the uh, link for ties page from the original person. So the person is still getting credit. They're still getting monetized. And I don't really have that much of an issue if it's another content creator 
doing this like fry bread or something like I, they're kind of being a sellout but honestly it's not the worst thing in the world so my problem is more with things like this where bots scrape pages that were scraped by bots scraping pages to take people's content and put it here and it's not really re-uploading it it's just more reposting it and you can still get it from the original place but the credit isn't really being given and it's just not is not great but this isn't what I meant entirely by stealing add-ons. This is stealing content, but it's not stealing add-ons. Now, if I go here and I look up my insanity on Google, we first get the MCPDL page, which is good. This is my add-on pack. This is where you can get it. Of course, I haven't updated it since November. I'm working on kind of a sequel, um, so I'm not really supporting this anymore. But if you look it up, you can find it here. You can see it's got the right amount of shares and things, and this is the actual page. Now, if I scroll down to here, we see the next big result after the videos. Of course, these are all my videos. Is this one on mcaddons.com. Now, this is one that you can't trust. Because as you can see here, this says it was uploaded by Minecraft. Not true. This was uploaded by, by me. But not on this website, of course. Now, this goes through. And this, like, has some, like, a little bit of the text here. But then there's like this text here that's that's not what I said, which we have collected 40 plus best mods so you can install immediately on your Minecraft Bedrock. I did not type this. This is not true. There are no, there aren't cars. I don't know where it's getting cars from. Firearms. I mean, there's some blasters, but they're not firearms, I guess. They're, and then like, I don't know. This is just bad. And what's even worse about this is my insanity while I collected it, which this download now button takes you to a weird, funny website. This is the MC pack. 1400 people have downloaded this, which could be my mind sanity, or it could be something that someone else put it. It could be, it could be malware. It could be really anything. You shouldn't trust websites like this. So this website is literally stealing content. It's a scam and it's bad. And then we see it posted on Vatnage. That's good. It's a little out of date that post, but you know, that's that's on me. And then we find it on MCPEDL. Now this is not MCPEDL that we like, that we know. This is MCPEDL.xyz. I'm guessing this is a website that scrapes content from MCPEDL and reposts it here. And if we go here, then it has their own MindSanity add-on pack download file. And this is not my download but it has, I'm assuming, plenty of downloads here. So this is just another website stealing my content. Then we see the one on MCDL Spot, which once again, doesn't have my permission to be there, but it's not directly stealing my stuff. And then we see this one that's like partially in Russian, and it's kind of weird. Let's see, if I click on Russian, yeah, it's my, my insanity re-uploaded in, in Russian text. I guess it's fine, but it's not retranslating my thing, and then it's like putting its own downloads here so this is generally like what does this do this dude looks oh where did what did i just do this dude looks re really funny like, i don't know what his deal is but i don't like him anyway th th that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about just watch out be safe if you watch a youtuber like fry Bray or river rain or super shiftery or whoever just make sure that you're you go and you get your add-ons from the actual creators and not from uh, from any scam sites or anything like that, but I don't blame these creators. They're just doing what they're doing I don't think they actually thoroughly thought about what they're doing. Well, I blame super shifter a little bit But I don't blame fry Bray. I don't blame river rain. They took the money there They're using that site, but that site isn't great So I'm personally not gonna take the 300 bucks a month for this kind of thing. I don't think it's morally great but I don't hold anything against the, a couple of creators that did so I hope that you were able to get some insight on the kind of content stealing that's been kind of going around. User generated content is the heart of Minecraft. I mean, it really is. Like, the marketplace is great and all, and it's user, play user generated content, but it's got a lot of issues lately. The marketplace is even stealing content. There's the whole thing with the Aether thing, the thing with the faithful texture pack. There's a lot going on there. So if I were you, just get free content by going to MCPDL or Vatnage or just watching YouTube videos and downloading them from there, assuming that you're watching the videos from the creators that made the add-ons. Anyway, thanks for watching, if you made it to here. Hopefully this was helpful in some way. Please share this with anyone else that you think could benefit from it. I wanted to shout out Pingy, who's a channel member, who has access to my channel member only server that's hosted by Wither Hosting, which I think is the best Minecraft server hosting service out there. They have high quality 
computers and servers and things, and you can get 15% off using code SPY15 and using the link in the description, which does support me. Unlike this guy trying to sponsor me, they're actually, uh, they've been reliable, they've been good, they've been morally pretty great. So anyway, thanks for watching, see you guys later, and bye. Thank you.